The idea for the monopoly really started when the economy first started to tank. So many evil corporate people and, and money interest that the monopoly guy for me, he he is the corporate guy. Like I did a painting of the monopoly guy running across America, kind of symbolizing, you know, that the corporations run America and they run, you know, all the imagery you see outside. So that's why I kind of wanted to throw it back out there, you know, to like to throw it back that someone actually realizes that this is going on and that um, you can do something about it, you know, and you can incorporate it into art. That's that's what I want to bring to people is I want to bring art into people's lives and inspire them to, to go out and make art themselves. You know, I think street art is is more of a, in a category its own other than graffiti. I think graffiti is more of uh, you know it's vandalism. You're you're going on people's property and destroying it. I don't I don't target like you know I don't go on the small business and, and write all over it just to destroy it. That's that's way more aggressive than what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to spread art in a positive way. These other graffiti artists, some of them are just just doing it just to you know they're just doing it just to break stuff and 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 it's it's so aggressive that I don't know it's not art I don't think a lot of it. but. As far as street art, I think street art is a great thing. It's positive. It's it's turning, it's transforming your city into something that's, you know, it, LA is such an ugly city if you think about it. There's no architecture. There's no there's nothing really. But I think street art is like bringing something new to the streets. You know, it's it's bringing something interesting that people can drive by and look at and 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 think about. When I started the Monopoly guy, you know, I. You can basically, by looking at my art, without me even saying anything, it's pop art, you know? It's, it's pop art, but street art with my graffiti influence in it. So, you know, obviously Warhol was a major influence in that, and he started out his actual first series, his first show was here in LA, which a lot of people don't know, it was on La Cienega. And, it, and the show was just basically like all these Campbell soup pieces. He received letters from Campbell's that they actually were enjoying that he was doing the work. So, you know, that's what I thought of when I started doing Monopoly Guy. I, was, I said, you know, screw it, you know? Warhol did it, I'll do it, you know? So I haven't received a cease and desist yet, so. Uh, you know, since the Monopoly Guy, I really wanted to, street art is truly effective when you have work that relates to people and that people can look at and know what they're looking at. And then, the, and then they sit there and they look at it for a little bit and they see my different brush strokes and my different style and I like to do splatters and drips and different colors. And Bob Dylan is my other character. He's another conducive person to colors and, and expressive style with it. And, you know, I just started a new character, Twiggy, and she's she's my next character I'm gonna go all city with hopefully but she uh, she's another character but Jack Nicholson everyone notices you know he's he's just such an icon Amen. I think it's really fun and ironic to, to put the Monopoly Man in Beverly Hills because there's absolutely no other graffiti in Beverly Hills. And, and, and they take it down really quickly, but for some reason the Monopoly guys, they stay up.